Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Fitchick 777 and today I'm coming at you with the design team project for Renee Bouquets. Now this particular project, a friend of mine had uh, gave me a couple of cute alterable items um, that she got for me at a sale and you know I stuck them in my little to be altered bin and bins plural and when I was searching for some stuff to you know for my design team kit I came across a couple items and I'm like Oh, that one thing, that is so going to work. So, um, I'm going to show you what I came up with. First off, you might need to sit down. I put down the pinks and creams. I know, shh. Okay, not really the creams, the pinks. I put down the shades of pinks on this project. <sighs> Take a deep breath. It's okay. Sometimes you just have to step away from the pink. Now, I know we are gasping, but there is a wonderful friend of mine going, yes! And she knows who she is. Um, anyway, this time I went with these beautiful blues and creams and blacks. I know! Hard to believe. I love these certain shades of blues, um, but I don't craft with them much because those colors are not in my house which is funny since I love the color combinations and then of course I love reds and blacks which I kind of go to every now and then but this one it's my first project with these colors I know you're just you can't wait to see what I come up with so let me move my sign out of the way right stinking quick all right here we go now I know you're going to be looking at it from a top view at first I know but don't worry, I'll bring it up to you. Isn't that super cute? I love it. This clock, yes, it's a working clock, and it is without this on it. The just kind of actual size of the clock is about five inches tall and just about 10 inches wide. And then with this frame on it, it brings it up to about seven inches tall. So the items I was talking about that I, when I, wanted to work with was this beautiful frame and then some new butterfly releases in Renee's store. I know, got a little excited about it. We'll come to that. So let me bring this up. Um, first thing I did is the clock was already in black, but I just took uh, Prima Heavy Black Gesso. There you go. You can see the texture there and did my pouncy brush technique, you know, Pounced on the first coat, did a little heat set in between. I did about probably three coats like that to get that texture on there for this one. Okay, so that was just kind of the first thing I did. Um, the next thing I did is this clock actually had like a plastic face over the top. I took that off because it was kind of scratched up. And I like it without anyway. Kind of just makes it look a little bit more vintage. I love this. I had originally made this to sell um, because I have a friend who has invited me to sell some things in her shop, um, but I don't know if I can let go of this one. Okay, and then the back is plain, and I just want to show you real quick. This clock, you know, has these great swirls on it, um, but you can't just glue to that like I did. Otherwise, the glue, hot glue drippings would just like drip out between the swirls and that would look tacky. So I cut um, just some pieces of black chipboard here, a couple of triangle shapes. Let me turn it this way so you can see. And it's got this nice hollow area here. So I glued that there so that I have a base to kind of glue all my stuff to. And then I also put a piece right here because let me turn it to the side. See, it's kind of hollow right here, kind of hollow all the way around like that. Yeah, so since I glued flowers on the side, I also glued another piece of chipboard here. Okay. Oh, thumb stuck. There we go. There's all the flowers on the side. Lots of flowers again, lots of Prima flowers, um, lots of mulberry flowers from Renee's shop. Some petaloo flowers going on in here. Okay. So first thing I started with, like I said, this beautiful frame, another beautiful resin frame from Frank Garcia Memory Hardware Collection. This is called um, 
I know what it's called. I just don't know how to say this first word because I'm sure it's supposed to be Parisian of some sort. Although I just want to say Montchamp, but that's stupid. Probably, probably says Mochamp or something imperial. Nobody laugh. I heard you. Um, <laughs> so this is the resin frame. Got it from Renee's store. I just, I knew when I saw it and it's an oval would perfectly fit this clock. And I didn't do anything to the inside of the clock except take that plastic cover off. I left the hands in there. I left the, the face that's already on there because it just all fit perfectly. And I just glued that to the front of that right on top. Okay, and then I started with my very first base of flowers I put on. You can see part of it here was just this Prima Vine from my stash. I believe it came from the Almanac collection. Okay, so you can see it there. And then I just basically kind of wrapped it around and brought it up this way. So a little bit sticks out here. You can see a little bit of the flowers right in here. Okay, and then I just started gluing on. I've got um, Prima Stationer Desk Flowers, which is this beautiful, almost like denim blue, one of my favorite shades of blue. Kind of this denim color. So that's kind of here and here, Stationer's Desk. Over here, again, with another beautiful blue leaf. Okay, and then I've got some Prima Rolled Roses here. I think this is Garden Fable collection. I'm not sure about that, but could be. Um, these black ones are uh, Stationer's Desk Prima Flowers. Okay. Um, these beautiful mulberry flower. Look at that. It's just beautiful. This is kind of almost like a powdery blue. Very pretty, very pretty. Came from Renee's store. Um, this is a set of 13. They're blue and white, different uh, flowers you can get. So like this one came with these beautiful little blue rosebuds. Cute. And let me turn it to the side. Blue flower there. This one... And this one is the Ivory Collection, set of 13. It's Wild Roses, Gardenia's Leaves. So this beautiful, beautiful, huge gardenia. Also from Renee's store. Um, I've got, they're barely seeing, but there's some of the Petaloo flowers in there. This is a stationer's desk here. I can't remember which collection this came from. It's a new release of Prima. This uh, musical note flower is just for my stash. Um, let's see. I think that's it on those paper flowers. These flowers, you all know, chiffon flowers, came from Renee's store. This is the um, ivory, beautiful ivory fabric flower. And this is the beautiful black flower. And you can see all the shimmer on it. I sprayed that with just a homemade shimmer spray. I did it to, you know, sprayed it to all the flowers, but you can really see it popping up on that black one. So super pretty. Okay. And then let's see. Back over to this side. This is a Prima metal lamp. Just a little shabby chic treasures uh, from my stash. I've got tucked in here a little gear. I think this is like a Tim Holtz gear here. Got it kind of tucked in. Uh, let's see. Over here is another gear, bead landing gear. This little like clock face here. This is uh, Prima. This is Vintage Mechanicals clock faces. Renee carries these in her shop by Finnebear. It's a set of two. These are the small size. You get two different sizes, but it's the small because I know that uh, there's also um, the same clocks in a large two sizes, but um, Renee's got the small ones. I like to use these from time to time, just kind of peeking out, very nice. Um, right down here in the corner, I wanted to do some kind of title that sort of, you know, played on the clock theme a little bit. So down here I've got the first layer is just a Prima resin frame, Shabby Chic Treasures. These are the Baroque frames kind of rectangle frames. It's a two-piece. This is the smaller of the two-piece. And then this is just a Prima resin uh, piece from my stash as memories. And then this is just a little um, Tim Holtz, I think it's called Small Talk, a book of different little phrases called says, Follow Your Heart. So memories, follow your heart. 
all in time. That kind of, you know, theme to it, I guess. So there's that. And in this cute little butterfly here, this is the Tiny Treasures from Renee's store. Um, and this one is called Frosty Kisses. I bought these a long time ago. I'm going to bet probably last year sometime. And I'm just finally getting around to using them. That's how long they've been in my stash because I just don't go with blues very often, which is silly because I love blues. Except at Christmas. I'll do a lot of blues because of winter, you know, winter type colors. But i um, not decorating so much for home decor, but anyway, there's that. And then the other new release, Butterflies, you can see one here. Super adorable. And then one up here. Um, so these are in Renee's store, and it's under the section called Magical Miniatures. Okay, there's four different sets of these butterflies. They come in a set of eight. I'm going to set my project down for a minute. And there's four of one size and four of another size in a set of eight of each set. What I love about these is they are super tiny. This is the bigger size. This is the tiny treasures that I usually use. See, it's just slightly smaller than that. Okay? And then this is the next size in that set. It's even smaller than that. Isn't that adorable? Look at the vibrancy of the colors. And what's neat about these is the tiny treasures. You know, you've got the beautiful front, and then you've got the back where you would hear it. Okay? Just plain. These are double-sided. Yeah! Awesome! Love it! Double-sided. And what I love about the double-sided is oftentimes, you guys know me, I've got things hanging off the edge. That's just how I roll. And so like this side, and every time when I, anytime do a project um, from the back side, I like it to look neat. I don't want any glue globs hanging down or anything like that. So what I love about these butterflies is from the back side, you just see that beautiful print on that side as well. Love it. And then what is cool about these two sizes, one being smaller, one being bigger, is you could layer them. And have, you know, like a two-piece butterfly. A double-layer butterfly, obviously, is what I want to say. Super cute. So these ones are called Min Midwinter's Dream. Okay? And then I, Renee very graciously sent me another set that she has. And these ones are called Spun Sugar. And these ones are kind of in these beautiful teals and purples. Spun Sugar. Okay? Now... The other neat thing about these butterflies, these aren't just some clip art that Renee found online and, you know, you know, had them cut, all right, or cut them. These are actual ones that she did herself. What she did is she took some of her favorite um, butterflies and she hand painted them with watercolors. Okay, and then she took those paintings that she did and she turned them into digital images and then cut them out. Okay, so these are her actual watercolor paintings and then turned into a digital image, like I said. Isn't that freaking awesome? I love it. I cannot believe it. And like I said, she's got four designs. I mean, just awesome. Eight in a set perfect sizes even just a little smaller still for someone like me that likes to do alterable art perfect and I like them smaller because you can put even more butterflies on a project and they are just so vibrant in color she uses professional uh, ink and printer and everything just to get that vibrancy and look at all the definition and everything on that I mean can you imagine like painting that I mean just gorgeous I mean look at all the detail Crazy cute, crazy beautiful, crazy awesome. These are wonderful. I love them. Love them. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I will have all the links down below to everything Renee Bouquet's. Now, one other thing I want to tell you about, this is on a personal note, I will be having one more project come out this month for Renee Bouquet's. No, I'm not leaving Renee's team. 
Um, I will have one more project come out for that and probably maybe one more after that. So one more for sure. Maybe not a Renee uh, design team project, but just another small project I'll be uh, putting on my channel. But one for sure, maybe another project. I will be gone for anywhere from six weeks to three months. Okay, so you're going to have to watch reruns. I'm having shoulder surgery on my left shoulder. It's just time and treachery, you know, repeated pattern as, you know, dental assistant at work, you know, over 25 years of doing the job, calcium deposits, frayed tendons, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I can't have cortisone anymore, so I have to have shoulder surgery. So prayers for me, please, or happy thoughts. I will see you again with another project. Before I leave, possibly to, like I said, all the links down below to Renee's shop, as well as my blog and Pinterest account. I'll still be online and stuff, but, you know, it's kind of hard to craft one-handed. Um, I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.